Hey team, I pray you're doing amazing and I pray into all of your intentions just about every day. I wanted to update you guys now that the summer is over about some of the things going on in my life and my plans for the ministry and some glory so you guys can know some of the return on your investment. A couple quick stories. First of all, um, a couple weeks ago at camp, there was a camper who came in and she had torn her ACL or her MCL. I don't remember exactly which one. It's in another video and in her testimony video. Anyway, she had a, a massive cast on and she loved volleyball, but she wasn't able to try out for her high school team. In fact, she wasn't even sure she'd be able to play volleyball again because of the injury. So anyway, she was being she, she was at Damascus for a week at camp and during that week her small group leader and her small group of other high school students decided they would just pray with her for healing and when they prayed she felt a warmth in her leg and she tried standing up and realized she could stand up and jump and she tried running and she was able to run and it was incredible she took the cast off for the rest of the week and then when she went home she went to the doctor because they had already planned a surgery and when the doctors checked her leg against the other they found no difference whatsoever it was totally healed. I've already shared with you guys several stories of the way that God is moving in the miraculous in Damascus. We had over 150 kids who were physically healed of ailments this summer. But I wanted to also share with you the more important part, which I think I shared with you guys in every support raising meeting, is the relationship with Jesus that is facilitated through an encounter with him at Damascus. So there was a parent who told our founder a couple weeks back, you wouldn't believe what's happened to my son. He's a different man after his week at camp. And this is the kind of thing we hear from parents oftentimes, but at camp they have a small group and this young man and his entire small group would video conference every evening for half an hour to pray through the scriptures. This the other week, the other evening, they had like a sleepover where they spent four hours together praying through the scriptures. So that's just the fruit so you guys know about some of, uh, of what, it, what a week at Damascus is like. Um, it's, it's uplifting for me to hear because that's what I want to do with the parish is transform it into a place where people meet the person of Jesus and are empowered to live their life in a radically different way than what the rest of the world is living their life as. That's the point of the Christian experience and why we have the religion of Catholicism. So I just wanted to thank you guys and let you know how valuable you are to me. I'll be heading back to camp at Damascus um, for the full year program, which is going to look a lot different than summer camp and I think will facilitate my training for parish involvement in the near future um, a lot better because there's more formation and practice in that kind of ministry. But I wanted to let you guys know how grateful I am for your sacrifice that enables me to be a missionary and to be a missionary who does the work of an evangelist. You guys are amazing. Uh, I continue to pray into you guys and all the things you need. And I look forward to updating you all again in the near future. God bless. Bye now.